The beautiful island of Penang is a melting pot of food, culture, and lifestyle that makes it an attractive tourist destination. The island has just about everything you need for a relaxing holiday, filled with an enticing array of food to tempt your taste buds. It can be tough choosing which hawker fare to sample when you're there, so here's a list of all-time favorites that will make your visit to the island truly memorable. Bangkok Lane Mee Goreng Located at New World Park, Hokkien-speaking Mabubin Zakaria and his son Sabek Ahmad have been cooking this famous mee goreng for decades. Taste aside, the entire cooking process is one to behold as well. After vigorously stir-frying the springy noodles and bean sprouts in a hot wok, three homemade sauces are ladled in before generous portions of potatoes, tofu and squid are added to the mix. Regular say taste buds come alive with each mouthful, sweet, spicy and sour. Hamidia Nasi Kanda Hamidia's mix of spices for their beef rendang, biryani, murtabak, chicken curry, kapitan chicken and dal curry has remained unchanged since 1907. When they first started, these dishes were cooked in an open field and transported by workers using baskets balanced on either end of a single wooden pole, okanda. In 2020, this restaurant was recognized by the Malaysia Book of Records as Malaysia's oldest nasi kanda restaurant. Ice Kacang in Keksing Cafe This old-school dessert is a sight to behold. A pile of shaved ice drizzled with rose syrup, topped with red beans, sweet corn, jelly and evaporated milk. This cafe started in 1906, serving pastries like cream puffs for high tea. However, in the 1930s, ice kacang was introduced and quickly became the cafe's most requested dessert. This cafe is the only one in Penang that serves this icy cold dessert with a rose-flavored jelly on the side. Bisu Laksa Bisu Laksa is run by two special siblings, Chu Sui Chu and Chu Heng Fook, who have been cooking Asam Laksa since their father started the stall in 1957. Every morning, the siblings are at the market, purchasing all the ingredients needed for the day, mackerel, fresh mint and ginger flour among a host of others. The broth is prepared from scratch and served steaming hot with eight different vegetables. Siam Road Cha Kui Tiao. Cooked over a wood fire, Uncle Tan and his son sell out their Cha Kui Tiao by 6 pm every single day. Regulars say what makes Uncle Tan's Cha Kui Tiao different from others is its distinctively smoky flavor from the charcoal fire used compared to others who cook using gas stoves. Last year, Uncle Tan's sumptuous dish earned him the moniker Humble King of Noodles by the BBC travel feature 50 Reasons to Love the World in 2021.